What's going on? This is Joey King Handles Haywood from Vancouver, BC. This reaction video, checking out my guy, Devin Williams. Uh, you know, I've been watching Devin Williams for a very long time, probably five plus years. Um, he's definitely, definitely from that streetball era, from the Nautic to AM1 to Dime, YPA. Like, he, like he, he's been around during that time. So he understands the streetball game. That's what I was talking about before on my other uh Reaction video when he's watching DeFriga, watching his games and stuff like that. He he's a you know he's definitely could hoop. He got the quick handle and he definitely got some tricks in his bag. So it's really great to see uh, him uh, play. Um, and just check out this mixtape when he was in definitely in China. Uh, the cr the crowd is so crazy in China and the basketball atmosphere. If you guys don't know, uh, I go there a lot. Well, before COVID, I used to go there a lot, four or five times a year. And do the street ball events camps and stuff. Um, so Devin too goes there often, and he has a, a big fan base there too as well. And he does a lot of stuff there. And he could definitely tell you that the the, the crowd in China and the basketball is like crazy. It's like nothing you ever seen before. Um, and it's really surprising because people might think like America definitely is the number one with basketball uh, in terms of like crowds and reaction and all that other stuff. But and and money putting money into the into sports. But China. Um, Loves basketball, loves the game of basketball. They love people who have that, that have a different flavor to the game, and it's really exciting because you don't really get to see that all the time, especially as foreigners going over there. So this is really great to see. Um, definitely inspiring. Uh, before I went to, before I went to China. Hold on, I gotta get this call. Oh, I gotta take this call real quick. Hello. I go. I will. Um, what time I'm leaving here in like about 10 minutes. Okay, I'll just get the point. Are you sure? Uh, I could get... It doesn't matter. Huh? It doesn't matter. Okay, okay, no okay, I'll see you in a bit. Yeah. Okay, bye. bye. You just had to... Wife picking up the kids. Anyways, back here again. I had to take that call real quick, but uh, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, it's, you know, it, it, they put a lot of money into the basketball out there in China. So um, you know, the crowds are just crazy. Just love the game of basketball. So just check out this little mixtape. We won't be super long. Check it out this little mixtape with Devin Williams out in China. I think he was there his second time. Could be his first time. Uh, I could be wrong, right? But Devin definitely really inspired me to go over there in China. But it, it happened organically. It wasn't like I forced the issue and I called a bunch of places, people in China. No, it's like it actually happened organically uh, that I knew uh, somebody asked me to train them and they're from China. And they said that they could, you know, definitely help me out and go, do some stuff down there. And since then, um, I've been going. So thank you, Jojo, JJ Sports, for uh, putting me on to China and uh, also put me on to Han Chao HC. Um, in China too as well one of the top street ball players and icons and legends in China uh, definitely check him out on Instagram handle soul 9 at handle soul 9 all right go check him out See, you know what I love about this right here? Like, for him, backing up, this is sick, man. This is how you know you got a really good handle. Like, somebody's coming at you like that aggressively, right? And you're backing up, putting the ball through your legs behind your back. That's where you know you have a good handle. That's crazy, man. That's a lot of confidence. But also, man, this guy has a ball in the string. Like, to be able to do that, man. Look at that. One, two. And I understand that because I, I do that too sometimes too as well, right? And this guy's aggressive defender. Don't get me wrong. Like those guys could play defense in China. Like this guy that can hoop, like can hoop and can play lockdown D. And this guy here doesn't care. Like he's trying to really guard Devin. Look at that. Boom. Gone. And a guy like that, like he's gonna get a little messed up a little easy, especially you know with a ball handle like, like a crazy ball handle like uh, Devin. Good pass. Boom. Boom. That pullback is just nasty. Look at that. Gone. Yeah, pull back. Styling, man. Boom. 
step back. That's my guy hand shot right there. HC man. HC with the dreads. Hard stomp into the pullback. It's different. It's a different player, man. Tap pass. Good. Look at that pass. Look at all those passes, man. Like, real talk. He's an entertainer. Like, real talk. Like, he entertains the crowd. Like, you can tell the difference between um, Friga's game and Devin's game. Friga game is more like organized, um, organized game package. We'll get to straight to the point. Get a bucket, step back, you know, jumper twos. Like, definitely, you know, a lot more organized. You got Devin here that can play organized, but you can tell the difference. Like, he's just uh, entertaining when it comes to the game of basketball. Like, he can just switch up from going going organized to street. And you can tell a lot of the passes is just styling, man. But it's like no look passes, one hand, you know. Uh, the tap pass, like it's just he's a like a he's a street ball player. Like he's a, definitely could play organized, but he's like take it to the whole nother level. But I'm not saying that you know I'm not saying that he's way better than De Friga. I'm not saying that it's just they're just two different players, like two different players. And look at that, even that up fake coming up like that. Look, the one hand like that. I know De Friga does that though. Don't get me wrong, he does that, but it's just different. Cross is boom, lean cross. You got the Iverson cross. So he got that in his bag. Iverson cross. Boom. Boom. It's nice. Good pass. Boom. Yeah, he got that raw handle, man. Raw handle. Just straight up raw. Bop, 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 bop. See that? I could... Watch that again. Look at that. Watch that. Cross, run, rhythm. Bop, bop, up. Like, that's just amazing, man. Footwork is amazing. Spin is just... Boom. Wow, good passes, man. Ooh. And you can tell he's having a lot of fun out here, man. Like, it's real good to see. Come on. I know how that... I know that feeling, trust me. When that crowd is watching you, it's a whole different game. It just... Your game elevates, man. All right, let's check it out here. Okay, let's check out this one last video here. Uh, check out him playing against White Iverson. Definitely White Iverson has came a long way. Definitely worked really hard on his YouTube and is doing great things. So shout out to White Iverson, doing a great job. Definitely, definitely love to play against him. I don't know, I played against him in Venice Beach two, three years ago, maybe three years ago. Um, really good to play against him. It was a three on three. We actually end up beating his team, and they beat us. They beat us first. I was on Team Ballaholics with some guys from Japan, uh, from some city, and then we played against them in the Venice Beach. It was like an NBA All Star thing in LA when the NBA All Star was there. So Venice Beach had something on the court, three on three tournament. So we end up losing to them. I think by like five points or six. We end up playing them in the quarterfinals and end up beating them by one point. I remember I hit the the last basket to win, um, but it was White Iverson. Um, who else? White Iverson, Chris Staples, and somebody else. And had a guy named uh, I forgot what it was called, Hot something. Can't remember on his team before that we lost to, but he wasn't there. And he's a he's a good player too. He's a street ball guy. But uh, that was the last time I played against uh, White Iverson. It was like three four years ago. Definitely his game's gotten a lot better since then. Oh. Jesus Christ. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm here. Don't matter. 
before we jump into this video all right mark your calendar december 13th i'm at all right so we watched a little bit of this one-on-one -on -one here all right definitely wide absence came a long way this is great great matchup here you know definitely two good ball handlers and two good players Two different players here, man. This is great to see guys going at it. And this is for fun, right? I think this was the video when he was about to play against the Friga, uh, the one on one. No, Devin is a tough, tough defender, though, it seems like. You know, he's a pretty big guard. Got really, you know, big, big calves. And, you know, he's a pretty big dude, man. So, uh, you know, he's definitely tough, tough to go up against. And he plays hard. He really plays hard. And nothing beats playing outdoors, though, man. It's a whole different feel, man. But after you play on the asphalt, that concrete, got my concrete. Got to get ice. Take ice bath. Got that jumper in this. You got that jumper, man. Dev is a good player, man. All, 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 all the above, man. He can really hoop. Nice. And White Iverson is going to be tough for him to guard Devin, man. This is just a different player. But White Iverson can go, though, man. You can't give him a chance. See, one-on-one -on -one is hard, though. One-on-ones is tough. You can kind of go either way, right? So, you can't really measure a one on one saying you're a better basketball player. But I don't know, it's tough, man. Hey, okay. It's a nice move. That's a really slippery floor there, man. <laughs> Crazy. Bank shot. Oh, good, good, oh, good foul, good foul, good foul. Good shot. Tired, he's tired, man. Good shot. A lot of those shots are good shots, man. All right, Iverson could go, man. And he got that really quick release right there. And he doesn't really bring it up all the way. You know, he kind of shoots it from right here, but it's quick. It's hard to block. Almost hit that shot. All right, we watch another two minutes of this. But this is more of a serious game. You know, I don't think it's more. I don't think it's going to be a trickery game, right? It's more serious. You got to kind of get him in shape to get ready for Defriga. Just working on some things, I guess, right? Totally different than the than the, the, the than the uh, when he was in China, right? But that's what I'm saying. He can play both ways, though. Right? Nine eight. Good. See, a lot of you might think it's a foul like he's doing, but he, I understand. You know, he got the hands, the arm bar, but you got to play through that, man. All right, if you go to the next level, that's what you're going to get. Guys are going to be doing that same thing. So that's what I like about street ball. It just gets you ready for that. Especially playing with, uh, you know, against a really good player. Like Red Iverson. Got yeah, spin. Yeah, I know. That's automatic. That's a good move. That's tough. He hits that shot, though. I don't know if that was a foul. I don't know about that because, for me, I would never give him that. Oh, yeah. Like we said, do it over again. Because he's not being aggressive on that play. So, he kind of faded to the side. So, I, I wouldn't even give him that. Thank you. Yeah, I understand that. That was tough, though. But White Iverson can't hit that shot. Maybe I was in there. 
Good shot. My hand was like this, and your step side was like this. <laughs> yeah, that's good though. We do one. We watch one more play. Nice. All right. So that's it for today. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you the difference between you know organized and street ball. You know, you got two different styles of play. De Friga and Devin definitely really depends on what you favor favor right like some people would like you know the a little bit more because he plays more organized some people that love street ball and love to see you know the flashy handles would like like Devin. there's no right or wrong answer you could like whoever right and just you know just that's what gives the beauty of the game you know everyone can't play the same way right so this is great great to see i can't wait to put, play play against these guys in the future uh hopefully next summer when this covid thing ends and i'm not bi super super busy because uh, I know a lot of people have been asking me, hey, you know, since I'm on YouTube stuff, is uh, out here a lot. I'm be playing against a lot of local guys. And they might be, they might, they also some, oh, the, the competition is not the best. Yeah, sometimes the competition is not the best. Sometimes it is the competition is the best competition, right? But uh, definitely I love to go play against these guys and play with them. But it'll be fun. Though. Hopefully next summer I'll definitely make a trip down there and, you know what I mean, to show myself again. All right? So thank you guys for watching my channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. Um, if you guys want to send me a DM on Instagram, it's at the King Handles. Um, on Instagram, TikTok at the King Handles, and Twitter at the King Handles too as well. Uh, so don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me. And I hope you guys comment below. Let me know your thoughts about D Friga and Devin in the comment section below. For coming on, thanks for your time. And out of your busy day, one love.